Good morning. Today is Friday, January 14th, and it is time for our daily dose of good news. Think about the best party you've ever been to. Was it a birthday party, a wedding, a retirement party, an anniversary party? When a party is happening, we often don't want the fun to end. We want the fun to keep going forever. Wedding parties in the Bible show us what the kingdom of God is like. The kingdom of God is a celebration that never ends. In today's story, Wedding at Cana, Jesus, his disciples, and Jesus' mother were guests at a wedding in Cana. Cana was in Galilee. Jesus' mother noticed that there was no wine left at the party. No wine left at the party meant that a celebration would not go on. Of course, they looked to Jesus to help. Jesus saw six large stone jars near a table. Each of those stone jars probably held 20 to 30 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. Jesus told the servers to fill the jars with cold water. And then, to everyone's surprise, Jesus miraculously turned the water into wine. The party could go on. Let's read the story. It's from John chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, or pages 410 to 415 in the Spark Story Bible. Wedding at Cana. Jesus was at a wedding in the town of Cana. Jesus' family and the disciples were there. It was a grand day for a wedding. The sun was shining and everyone was singing and dancing. It was quite a party with good food and good wine. Mmm, the guests said to one another. This is probably the best party we've ever been to. Then the wine ran out. Even though the servers shook every wine jar, there was none left. Jesus' mother, Mary, heard the servers tell the person in charge of the party, All of the stone jars are empty and the wine is gone. How can this be? they asked. The party isn't over yet. Mary slipped away to find Jesus. Jesus, Mary said, they have ran out of wine. Can't you do something? What can I do? Jesus asked Mary. But Mary knew Jesus could do something. Mary told the servers, Do whatever my son, Jesus, tells you to do. I think he can help you. Jesus looked around. Over by the wall, he saw six large stone jars sitting near the table. Jesus walked over to the servers and said, Fill these jars with cold water. The servers hurried to the water pool. Slush, slush, slush. They filled the jars with water. When the jars were full of water to the brim, the servers told Jesus, We've done what you asked. The jars are full to the brim with cold water. Good, Jesus said. Now put some into a cup and give it to the person in charge of the party. Slosh, slosh, slosh. The servers filled a cup from the stone jar and took it to the person in charge. When he tasted it, he smiled. It was a miracle. The water had turned to wine. This wine was even better than the wine they were serving before. The man in charge took a cup of wine to the groom and gave it to him. My friend, taste this. You have kept the best wine until now. Most people serve the best wine first, but you have saved the best for last. The servers hurried to give everyone the new wine. The music played, and everyone sang and danced. This was Jesus' first miracle. And when his disciples learned of it, they believed that he was God's son even more than they did 
before. We're in the church season of Epiphany, and Epiphany means to show that something is true. The star showed the wise men the way to find baby Jesus, and the star showed that Jesus the Messiah had been born. In today's story, Jesus showed folks that he was the Son of God by performing a miracle. Turning water into wine was Jesus' first miracle. We see the abundance of God's love in our lives through this story. The next time you're at a party, I hope you'll remember that the kingdom of God will be the best party that will never end. How great will that be? And now would you please pray with me? We celebrate you, Jesus, for your loving care, for your miracles, for the gifts you give us each day. We celebrate you, Jesus. We thank you for the abundance that you share with us always. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day.